Fast and furious pace out of the centre for the Demons from Luke Beveridge up to half forward. And a good mark has been taken by Earl Spaulding. And where's Bennett? There he is. And just about a mark. In fact, it should be paid. He's a little bit closer in this time, so distance won't be a problem. Dennis Banks is trying to tell Peter Cameron that he had a bite in, in between there. Let's yeah. have a look. Yeah, we'll have a look at this again, Pete. And no doubt that's a mark. Yes, I'd agree with you, Bernie. So Bennett has kicked one behind so far. Has he hit that as well? It's close. Have to wait for the goal on fire. Look at another kick. Yes, 50 metre penalty. So it wasn't a goal, but will be now. Player in question has gone over the mark. So we can put that down. There's a goal to Melbourne. Yes, uh, did Banks run over the mark there, Pete? Well, somebody did. Whoever was standing on it, Bernie, I was watching Bennett. Don't make much difference who ran over it. Darren Bennett, first goal for him, first goal for Melbourne. So the Demon tip back 1 5 to 1 2 at VFL Park. Yes, he could be the big danger, as we said, Collingwood without a recognised fullback. Dennis Banks, a very versatile player, is picking up uh, Darren Bennett, but Darren Bennett, 196 centimetres, very tall full forward. No doubt about that, Mark. Good lead, a strong leading player, Darren Bennett, and kicks the ball a mile. Road offloaded with Dyson ultimately just up from the back pocket to get a kick in and it's a pretty good one too bounces well for Viney Turner rides him into the ground a little toe poke by Owen gets the ball moving Kerrison in the road will finally slapped out to Owen again on the edge of the square measures the pass and measures it well and Bennett takes the mark and couldn't have found a better man there either Peter because it's Darren Bennett the player to have the kick from uh, just on the 50 metre line Good play by Rod Owen. He's had a quiet afternoon, been well held. Jamie Turner's done a magnificent job on him. And Darren Bennett uh, should have no problem with the distance. Darren Bennett, well held, as you can see. Four kicks, but a vital kick coming on. He's kicked one. He'll kick from 50 metres out to the right. It's swinging back. It's a beautiful kick, a goal. Two goals to Darren Bennett. Couldn't have come at a more vital time. 11 4 70 Melbourne, Collingwood 7 15 57. Well, that's a danger for Collingwood, of course. Darren Bennett, uh, four marks, five kicks, and one hand pass, so not, uh, not great on the stats. But he only needs about three or four kicks to be a very damaging player, as we saw there. 50 metres out, no problem making the distance. A very damaging player if, if he gets the ball. Finally hits it over to Gaither. back to Beveridge, he plays on quickly back to Glenn Lovett, 45 metres out from goal, this time perhaps Bennett next to the behind post is marked he's yes. kicked two goals today pretty acute angle Bertie yeah, there's very little uh, Dennis Banks could do about that, just caught out of position in front, doing the right thing but uh, Bennett playing on, he's had a snap I think he's put it through, he has, it's a goal great start for the Demons in the last quarter Bennett's third scoreboard 14-7, 91 to 8-15, 63. Well, it's been a great start by Melbourne. The, the start of the final term, only a minute and a half gone. They're playing on at every chance, Melbourne. Glenn Lovett again had another opportunity to seal that from uh, 45 metres. And Dennis Banks just uh, couldn't do anything about it. Bennett with the height advantage, playing on and a uh, very good kick across his body to put that one through for his third. And Phoebe, Stephen Phoebe, two bounces. He can go again. Oh, he elects to kick. A very clever kick. Campbell. Brett Lovett. The leads are on. The two-pronged attack. Bennett! Oh, yes. Too big. Too strong for Dennis Banks. Yeah, just got a high advantage over Banks. Darren Bennett, 196 centimetres against Dennis Banks, 185. And that's a big advantage in this uh, last quarter. And he's leading so very well too, Darren Bennett. Well, Bernie's kick three, and he is a booming kick, so I think he'll make the distance all right from 49 metres. Darren Bennett, beautiful kick. Goal. Four goals to the full forward. Melbourne go away again. 15-10, the even 100 for the Magpies, 9-16-70. Well, the side's hard to beat, of course, with uh, Bennett, who's kicked four goals in the forward line. Cuthbertson's kicked six. These two players have uh, combined very well. If Bennett's not got getting the ball, which he wasn't early in the game, Cuthbertson was. But Bennett's heights really come into it in this last term, taking a couple of very strong grabs on the lead.
Antoine Francis it is. Tried to get it to Williams. It was Bidey, ultimately. Spalding, couldn't see him back on the ground. Bidey this time. Spears in the pass down the wall, full forward, and Bennett again takes the mark. Uh, Bennett really appreciate it. Appreciating the uh, space on that forward line now. Melbourne doing well around the centre of the ground. They're on-ball players continually feeding the ball into that forward line. So Darren Bennett coming in for kick number nine and goal number five. Again, the distance shouldn't be a problem. Right on 50. Booming <coughs> drop punt. And the goal apart indicates four points. So five goals to Bennett. Melbourne really coming home with the wood sale. They lead by six goals, 106 to 70. There's uh, Darren Bennett uh, kicking three goals in his final term. He's kicked all the Melbourne goals for the term, in fact. Uh, just really, as I said, appreciating the space on the forward line. The centre line players driving the ball continually into the forward line. Melbourne well on top at the moment. Melbourne going to be a hard side to beat this year. They've got a potent forward line.